say we're gonna take a break from the White People's Fund rally that, that I've been doing the last few episodes. And today, instead, I'm going to talk about how I voted in the election this year. I went and voted by uh, walk-in absentee yesterday, and so I thought I would share with you my votes and, and some thoughts on the governor, Lieutenant Governor David E. Gay, Shan Tsutsui, both Democrats. I actually really like Shan. David, I think is I think is good and, and has the potential to be good. I think he'll make a fine governor, and so I supported him. Also, the other two, other three guys are bad. Mufi Hanneman, who's running as an independent because Democrats hate him and he couldn't get he couldn't get past a Democratic primary to save his life, started his own party to run as an independent, and uh, which is fine. I, I think I'm actually supportive of more parties, but he's just he's bad. He's bad. He's conservative. Um, He's going to be bad on any number of issues. Uh, some people argue he's good on labor. Uh, I, I'm not sure that that's entirely true. Conservative, mean-spirited, bullying. Um, if he doesn't get what he wants, he will run over you. The other one, Duke Iona, Republican. Uh, he was lieutenant governor under Linda Lingle, who basically wrecked the state and financially, left us in a huge hole. Um, stuck it to teachers and, and middle-class workers and, and laborers and just generally was bad. Uh, Duke would do a lot of the same, uh, plus he's a religious conservative who believes uh, the state should be led by Christian ideals and uh, Christian beliefs and I, I don't agree. I think people can believe whatever they want to believe, but we live in a secular state in a secular country and that's how it should be. So those guys are bad. There's a libertarian, Jeff Davis, who, um, libertarians, yeah, you know, they're okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not against them fundamentally. Um, I think some of the things that they support, progressives also support. A lot of the things they support, I don't support. I think this guy, Jeff Davis, is a little mm, uh, off, and he's never, he's not gonna win, um, but as third party candidates go, I, I, I just say no. If there was a solid Green Party candidate and you're against Democrats or you, you, you're you anti-establishment or whatever, then I'd say go that route. But um, in this case, I'd say David E. Gay, Shan Tsutsui, all the way. In the first congressional, which is where I live, that's basically urban Honolulu, I voted for uh, Mark Takai. He's a Democrat. I haven't always agreed with him. I haven't always liked him much, but he's been sounding good um, the last year or so, and I think he's... Uh, you know, he shifted to the left a little bit, whether that's a permanent thing or, you know, election drift, then I don't know, but, but we'll see. Charles Jeju, I just, I think he's bad. I think, well, he's a Republican, he's a conservative Republican. He's gonna support the Tea Party Republicans in Congress, top to bottom, all day long. And it's not good for us, it's not good for the state, it's not good for the country, so don't vote for him. In the second congressional race, I don't vote there, but I think it's there's a Republican on the ballot, but the uh, Tulsi's gonna win by a landslide. The Republicans are nobody. I can't even recall the guy's name. If there's a third party candidate on the ballot that you like, I say vote for them. Tulsi's gonna win it. In the Senate race, we've got, well, in the Senate race, I voted for Brian Schatz, the, the Republican whose name I don't even know. I can't recall it. Um, Brian's gonna win by a landslide. Uh, he had a tough primary. Luckily, he, he came out on the other side. Um, I think he's I think he's good. I think uh, he has a lot of potential. I think he's going to be hopefully in the Senate for a long time. He's our senior senator, uh, and you know, in my opinion, for any number of reasons, we need to keep him there. As far as the OHA candidates, I I as a mainland Howley transplant feel really uncomfortable about voting for OHA candidates, and so as a general rule, I don't. Um, there have been exceptions um, if I know the candidate personally or if I've heard, heard good things about a candidate from Native Hawaiians who um, I know and trust, um, I will occasionally vote um, for those people. But generally, OHA is Office of Hawaiian Affairs, and I think that's a race that should be determined by Native Hawaiians. And I know that's not what the law says, but personally, I just don't feel right about doing it. And so, um, as a rule, I don't. So, if you know of good candidates, vote for them. If you don't, don't just willy-nilly vote for people in that race. In that instance, leave it to people who kind of have a better grasp of what OHA does, what they're doing, and what the candidates stand for and what they're going to be doing if they win. On the Conams, uh, I talked a little bit about them previously. I want to run through them real quick and tell you how I voted. I don't remember the order, so I may get the order out of I mixed up a little. Uh, but I, I voted for judicial uh, disclosure of judicial nominations. I voted for um, special purpose revenue bonds for dam repairs and upgrades. I voted for uh, early childhood education. I know that's a big one. I know a lot of people don't like it. I've already shared my thoughts on, on why I think it's good, and I would encourage you to do that one. Um, the other uh, the other agricultural one is has also um, gotten a fair amount of discussion in the last couple weeks. Um, I initially was going to support it, 
um, and was turned around um, in the last week or so and actually voted against it. This is the one that says uh, special purpose revenue bonds can be floated for um, any type of agricultural activity, not just activity on important agricultural land. Uh, initially, I thought this was good because it would help small farmers um, get access to revenue streams to um, expand facilities, to upgrade facilities, to buy equipment, uh, things like that. Um, but in the last couple weeks, I've learned that uh, because of the process and because of the way it works, um, it's unlikely that the smaller, medium-sized farmers would get much access to um, the loans that come out of the special purpose revenue bonds. And the reason is small farmers, they don't have any collateral. They don't, they don't own the land they work on. Um, they may own some equipment and some facilities, but uh, most likely not enough to uh, show the bank as collateral for a loan. Banks still issue the, the loans and they're gonna follow the same procedures they always follow. So it's unlikely that it's gonna make any difference. It might help some small farmers and medium-sized farmers a little bit, but it's more likely going to benefit big ag people, the seed crops, uh, Syngenta and Monsanto, and, and those guys I don't support. Um, they don't certainly need any money from us, and they don't need any help raising money. Uh, so even if it helps out small farmers a little bit, I don't think the benefits outweigh the the costs, frankly. And so at the end of the day, I voted against it, but that was one that I was really on the fence on right up until the end. Uh, increasing the age of judges, uh, I supported. To me, it's you know everyone's living longer these days, and, and to me, I, it, I think it's just one of those things that it moves with the times. Judges are living longer; they should be able to stay on the bench longer. Um, so there's that. Uh, if you have any questions uh, more in depth about any of this stuff or how I voted, or you you know you want a better explanation, please uh, you know ask me the question in the comments or leave a comment on my blog, and I, I'll do my best to answer them. In the meantime. Uh, I will get back to the Hawaii People's Fund stuff on Thursday, or excuse me, on Friday. For now, please go vote. Uh, election starts on Tuesday. If you got an absentee, a mail-in absentee uh, ballot, fill it out, mail it in right away. Don't forget about it. Don't wait till the last minute. Do it now. Um, and if you vote uh, in person, I think early walk-in absentee voting ended today. Um, that you'd have to double check on. Otherwise, make sure you vote. Uh, on election day next week. It's important. Uh, your vote does matter. Just, just go do it, frankly. Just, just do it. There's no reason not to do it. So for now, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.